and welcome back to my channel. Oh boy, oh boy, we have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus unboxing for the month of June. Whew, I know I'm late with all my unboxings. Y'all understand exactly why. I've had so many hiccups, some that are like decent hiccups and then some hiccups that are like literally a monkey wrench and I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> And even so, even my mic right now, if you're hearing maybe like um some fuzzies, I'm going to try to take it away, like like in editing, but even they're static now, so I have to replace my mic. I placed an order for another one and it's just a lot, but I feel like it's time to play around with a little bit of makeup and pamper myself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that today. If you're not familiar with Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, it is their second tier. They have a $12 bag where you're getting mainly deluxe size items. And um, I believe you may get like one or two full size. But in their Glam Bag Plus, it's $25 a month with free shipping. And you're going to get like, I want to say five, six, five to six. Well, five, five, five. I want to say it's five full-size items for $25. This here is a handful of items that I was able to trade in for points. So I'm going to show you what they are. Some of them are already part of a giveaway. I just kind of wanted to like show you guys what they are. This one is the Illa Masca Liner in the shade black. Yeah, so I traded this in for points, which is awesome. The next item is the Meat Matrimony Palette by The Balm. This palette is beautiful. I have something, I wanna say it's extremely similar. If not, I already own it. But I've already packed all my palettes. These here are palettes that I plan on taking with me for like filming purposes. I only set, I think, six or seven to the side. So I don't wanna dive on in and play around with this because I feel like I already own it. I kind of got it because I wanted to include it in a giveaway. If I don't already own it, then clearly I'm gonna keep this one. But I feel like I already own it. I traded in some points for this Murad cleanser. This is their Hydration AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. Um, if you guys can see, I also have another Murad product over there. I'm not mad at these Murad products only because they're huge. And I was able to trade this in for some points, so that's not bad. And it's a cleanser, and I never say no to cleansers unless... Like their Tula ones, which I tend to be allergic to. I believe this here is also full size. Yes, I traded points in for this. This is the Dermedicine, Der, Derm, these names, oh my god. Dermedicine Advanced Skincare Weightless Face Moisturizer with SPF 25. I figured since I'm going to Florida, I might as well just um, trade in some points and try this baby out. This is a daily face moisturizer. I'm not going to use this right now. My, my skin is already hydrated, cleansed exfoliated all that good stuff because I, I try my best to be prepared before I come in to film you know I really hope that this audio is coming off real good because if it's not I, I feel terrible but my microphone should be here in like two days so we'll see I also traded in points for this product over here this is the Mayel Mayel clearly brilliant tinted lips which I feel like I might want to use today and it is just like a tinted lip balm which is really cute I feel like this is something that I'm gonna use a lot during the summer months because it's hydrating on the lips it gives you like that little kissed lip type of effect without it being too much and I thought the shade was really pretty so I traded in points for that and now we're gonna dive on in to the products that they chose for me unfortunately they haven't been including like the little card with the prices and all of that in there. I don't know what happened and why they stopped sending me a card. Is nobody getting a card? Like, what's up with that? So let us know down below. But the first item they chose for me is the Tula Skin Care Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen with SPF 30. It is their probiotic skin care. Skin, skin care. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. I've already reached out to Brett, my friend, Brett Guy Glam, here on YouTube and on Instagram. I let him know, like, hey, do you love Tula? And he said yes. So this is for him. I'm gonna set it to the side. Tula products break me out. There's no way around it. I've tried two products and they always break me out, which sucks because I liked the scent of the two items I tried, but it's not worth it. Like, I have other skincare that doesn't break me out and Tula tends to do that, so that's for Brett. The next item I received, oh, don't mix, people, don't mix. The next item is this over here. It is the Fresh Herb Origin, I was gonna say original, Origin Eye Cream with Calendula by Nasific. By the way, I do have eye contacts on. I wanted to play around with contacts. I've worn contacts in the past, but after 
so long I just kind of got over it it's been a few years so I'm wearing contacts right now I'm playing around with a new brand it is the TTDI brand the ones that I have on my eyes right now is passion fruit gray they sent this to me by the way so I'm just when you place an order you're going to get the little uh, contact lens carry thing you get it in a little kit like this you're also going to get an applicator and little tweezers um, but they're like rubber tipped tweezers that you're able to just kind of grab your contacts with that way you're not putting your fingers all over it the only thing is that I'm debating on what's really going on and I'm talking to you guys while I'm opening this cream and I'm gonna apply it. I am not telling you to run out and buy the, this is an eye cream, yes, an eye cream. I'm not telling you to run out and buy the contacts because I myself don't know if I love them, okay? I'm not telling you whether they're great quality or not. I haven't used eye contacts in so long. So for me to say, OMG, you absolutely need to like go buy them. I'm not saying that. Then again, I really don't do, I, it's very rare. It has to be a product that I'm obsessed with, like the MVP Tinted Moisturizer. You know what I mean by Beauty For Real or something like that. Like I generally don't just run out and say, go get it. With that said, I will be honest. Uh, these are the contacts that I've applied twice. The first time, super uncomfortable. Now they're on and like they're in and they feel fine. However, I don't know if it's the contacts or if it's my eyeballs. I say that because you guys know that I need prescription. I have really bad astigmatism on both eyes. And it's one of those things where my eyes feel dry. So I have this big bottle over here of the rinse and go rinsing solution because I don't have like a hydrating drop for my eyes right now. I'm gonna pick up a little bottle of like hydrating drops and see if that helps because I know that I've suffered with dry eye in the past. So I don't wanna blame the contacts for it, but these over here, they're fine right now, but I tend to need to like add a few drops. So I don't know if it's the contacts that are uncomfortable or if my eyes are dry. I have other colors that they sent the uh, lenses in. However, I can already tell an issue with one of the sets. One of the lenses is not cut the same size, so one is bigger than the other, and I can feel it. Like, you can totally feel it in your eyes, and it's slightly, not even uncomfortable, it's a little painful to blink. So, I'm gonna keep playing around with them, and I'll let you know whether or not they're amazing. I am gonna link them down below, and it's up to you whether or not you guys want to go check them out. Just keep in mind that I'm being honest and I'm letting you know. I'm not saying I absolutely love them. I am trying them. But I am giving you this information now because I'm not going to do a dedicated video. It's just not going to happen. And the reality is that I'm going to get a ton of questions with regards to what contacts are those, what color is it, where did you get it from, and all that good stuff. So this is passion fruit gray it look like this in the box but what is it oh 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 there that's what it's kind of supposed to look like that's what they look like if you have really dark brown eyes it's going to make your eyes look lighter but definitely not gray i've been talking but i've also been focusing on the eye cream i like it it's not super sticky or tacky but it blended out really nicely and it's super hydrating under the eyes so we're gonna keep I'm, i think this is going to be for my travel bag for when i go i'm gonna set that to the side the other item they sent is the bliss oh my gamage which is a polishing cleanser i'm gonna add this um to a bag because yeah and then i'll be using this and i'll keep you guys posted and updated on what's going on with that. Now the next two items I received are actual makeup products. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go pretty much get my face kind of done and then I'll come back for the other two products. I am back. Now we're gonna play around with this item over here which I'll admit I've already swatched and I think it's so pretty. This is the Ciate London Marbled Metals Metallic Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Wicked. And she look a lot like this. But she looks so much better once you pop her open now. Look how pretty. I'm not gonna lie though. This is very similar to like those Maybelline um, little pots, the glitter ones that you can get at the drugstore. So if you didn't get this in your box and you really wanna try it, get something like that because it's fairly similar. I'm going to take a brush. I'm gonna tap her in there. And then I am just going to apply the eyeshadow all over the lid. I'm gonna keep this look super simple. I'm gonna grab a big fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend those edges out. 
I definitely want to pack some of this color with my finger because I feel like it's going to look so good once I pack it on with my finger. But before I do that, I do want to add a little bit of warmth to the crease, like the outer crease area. So I'm just going to go in to my Too Faced bronzer and I'm just going to like vigorously. I can get, I taste this damn bronzer. It's like the fallout. So good. Okay. So I'm just going to blend out here just so that it's nice and gradient. It looks it looks like I tried even though this is like really effortless. Okay, now I'm gonna dip my finger and we are just going to build that color. Look how pretty that looks. I'm gonna grab a brush, a different one. This one's going to be an eye shading brush by Luxie. Tap out just so that I don't really get a lot of fallout and then I'm gonna smoke out the bottom portion of the eye. Now I know it looks messy, but then I'm gonna go in with my finger and blend that like out a little more and that way it's like super grungy it's gonna look really good once i apply mascara watch so we're gonna go ahead and blend that out we're going to apply a little bit of an eyeliner this is my pixie liner this is the endless silky eye pen this is their black one i just curled up my lashes i'm going to apply a mascara this is the rodile double xl mascara i got it in my tribe beauty box and it's really good. I, I, I gotta tell you, pretty good one. At this point, you could definitely go in with lashes. I feel like I'm gonna skip that for today. I just don't feel like wearing lashes today. And I didn't get any in the box, so that's my excuse to kind of skip it for today. The very last item in the box happens to be a House Laboratories lippy, which I was gonna use the Mayel because it is such a like really pretty coral color. Coral's not gonna go with the eye look as I would want it to. So we're gonna use this over here. This is their Le Riot, Le Riot Lip Gloss in Ethereal. Let's see what she looks like. It says like a pink. Oh no, I, I, I need more than that. Oh no, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do something different. Hold on, I need more than just a plain old lip gloss. I use the Beauty For Real Define Lip Liner. This one is in neutral deep to fill in my lips just to add a little more drama because these eyes require some more drama. I am just going to pop this on the center and I think it'll bring the whole look together. This lip gloss is definitely very glossy. It's not like super slippery, but it's it's kind of thick. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play around with it. It definitely doesn't have a taste or a scent which is not a bad thing. Okay, I'll admit it, I lied. The idea of not knowing whether or not this look would just be like stepped up with just applying some lashes was killing me. So when I was getting ready to wrap up this video, I said, girl, just do it. <laughs> so I went ahead and applied some lashes just to see what the eye look would look like and it looks really good. I mean, it looked really good without lashes, but it also looks really, really good, like it did go up to a whole nother level with lashes, which is why I love them. So anyways, yeah, that was my entire box. I think this month's Ipsy box was amazing, not only because I was able to trade in a ton of points for full-size items, but the selection that they had for me, even though Tula is like one of those products that I can't use, Everything else was really cool. I'm looking forward to use the things that I haven't used and what I did use, like this eyeshadow, I absolutely love. Also, this lip gloss hasn't gotten on my teeth yet, which is really, really, really good. That's like a good sign for me. I'm gonna link Ipsy down below in the description box. However, just know it is not an affiliate link where I'm making money out of it or they'll get to see, you know, how many people I refer so I can get a free box. They don't do those things that I'm aware of at least. But if you use that link, I would get some extra points which I can trade in for some full size free items such as the ones that you guys saw in this video and then some of the items end up, well no, most of the items end up in giveaways, which is amazing. So you guys give to me so that I can give back to you guys. But yes, if you're interested, make sure you check down below in the description box because honestly, I went like two to three months where I was just like, what is going on with Ipsy? But I guess me doing the surveys is really helping because my boxes have gotten a lot better. Let me know what you guys got in your Ipsy box for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to link two additional videos here on screen I think you would really enjoy. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day with me and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye guys!